Hello St. Elmo's Fire. Welcome to a beautiful autumn day in the Arboretum. So there's this YouTuber called Mike Falzone who does this thing where he walks and vlogs at the same time. I'll link to his channel in the description below. But I thought that I'd try going handheld today because I want to see how difficult it is to actually walk and vlog at the same time. So I was talking with someone recently about recalling memories from your school days grade school, middle school, high school, and even though I know I had some good times while I was in school, the first memories that come to mind are those that were embarrassing or cringeworthy. It's sort of funny how your brain decides what memories are worth recalling, isn't it? Like, I can't remember any specific details during my so-called good times, but I know exactly what I was wearing and what the weather was like during my more unpleasant moments. I remember having a bit of a bladder problem when I was in elementary school. Like, two such instances stand out vividly in my mind. For example, there was this time when I was eight, and I remember that we were required to read a book of our choosing for each week. And so to prove that we had read our book, we had to go out into the hall each week and meet with a parent volunteer individually, where we had to do things like describe the plot of the book and talk about what we liked and didn't like about it. There was this one time where I had to go out into the hall and meet with the parent volunteer, um, but I had to go to the bathroom really, really badly. And instead of excusing myself like a normal person would, I decided to just sit down and hurry through my book synopsis. It must have been so obvious that I needed to pee with my leg jiggling up and down and talking at a million miles a minute. So I got halfway through the retelling of my book when all of a sudden I couldn't hold it in anymore and I wet myself. And then I just kept talking like nothing had happened. My thought was that, hey, I'm wearing black pants so it shouldn't be that obvious. And as long as I keep talking, no one will realize that I've pissed myself. So finally I finished my book synopsis and raced back into the classroom before the parent volunteer could say anything to me, and the next student went out into the hall. The door was left open, and from my seat in the classroom I could see exactly what was going out inside in the hall. There was confusion on the face of the parent volunteer and my classmate as I stood by this spot on the floor where there had not been a puddle of pee five minutes ago. I just about died of embarrassment as the parent volunteer went to grab some towels from the bathroom to soak up the puddle of pee with my classmate standing there knowing that I was responsible for the puddle of pee in the middle of the hall. There was this other time when I was nine and my class went on a field trip to the Milwaukee Zoo. That afternoon we had to board the bus to return to school and even though my bladder was quite full I boarded the bus anyway because I didn't want to get left behind. So we're sitting on the bus and I'm on the seat that's right above the wheels and so the bus goes over this huge pothole and that was jarring enough to make me wet myself. This time I was wearing bright blue sweatpants, so if I so much as sat up, people would know that I had pissed myself. I was, however, wearing a sweater that day, so I took it off and wrapped it around my waist, hoping that was enough to hide my stained pants. We finally returned to school, and the last bell rings so I can finally go home. I'm about a five minute walk from my house, so I ended up walking home with the rest of the kids who take my route, and all the time I am praying that they can't smell my pee-soaked pants. It's not until I get home that I take off my sweater and see this large wet circle right in the middle of it. It was a pink sweater, so it had absorbed everything from my pants. So basically, everyone who walked behind me on my way home could see this large wet spot right on my butt. Ah, that was embarrassing. But how about you? Do you have any embarrassing stories from your youth? If you're comfortable sharing some, please do. Because I just walked around a public place talking about my poor bladder control and I'd like to know that I'm not alone in having embarrassing childhood stories. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Best part of fall. That sound right there. <laughs>